My name is Brian Zenz. Uh, I'm an agronomist for CSS Farms in Delhart, Texas. Uh, one of our biggest problems in the Texas Panhandle is dealing with uh, potato psyllids and, uh, and high rates of ZC that uh, come along with the problem. Um, this year uh, we wanted to look at uh, a chemical efficacy trial uh, that looked at um, seven different programs and an untreated check as well. Uh, we did this trial on a half pivot that was approximately uh, four miles northwest of Delhart. And uh, what we did was we took uh, six replications on this half pivot and uh, uh, we tested these eight different chemical programs. Uh, some of the programs were uh, first the untreated check, um, the second was uh, what we called a positive control, um, which included admire and furrow. Uh, as well as uh, Agrimec Movento every week starting approximately 45 days after planting. Um, the next one was uh, Standard, which was, uh, uh, it would have been uh, Admire in Furrow, then uh, two applications of Fulfill, two applications of Movento, two applications of, uh, of uh, Agrimec, and then two applications of um, uh, Belief. Um, the programs then uh, start to vary a little bit. We have, uh, um, the, so that's the standard. Then we have the standard uh, with Oberon added at the end. Uh, we also tested the standard um, with uh, uh, stopping early, uh, so not doing any applications after the uh, belief. Uh, we tested the standard with uh, uh, Ryman at the end. Uh, we also used uh, one of the programs included Platinum in furrow instead of Admire in furrow. Um, so we looked at all these different uh, chemical programs um, and we did sprays every week. We developed plots within the field. Um, we sprayed weekly and uh, we did psyllid counts. Uh, we were looking at uh, eggs, nymphs, and adults. Uh, the presence of, of those three life stages within those plots. Um, so we collected 15 leaf samples on a weekly basis in each plot. Uh, we also wanted to look at uh, visual ZC or psyllid yellow plants within each, uh, within each plot, as well as uh, 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 take those plants that, that look like they had uh, or could have those uh, diseases and uh, ran a PCR on them and uh, actually did a lab test to see whether they were positive for Liberovactor. Um, and our fourth uh, objective was to um, uh, look at some yield data uh, as well as uh, um, ZC in the raw tuber and ZC in fry tests. Uh, what we found, there was uh, some significant differences early on in the season, uh, basically between the untreated checks and all of the other chemical programs that uh, actually had chemicals applied. Um, later on in the mid-season, we did pick up some results uh, that suggested um, uh, the Agrimec and Movento and the uh, base chemicals uh, with Agrimec added to them based on a threshold um, had better efficacy on eggs um, as well as small nymphs into September. Um, uh, some of the other things we found were uh, as far as uh, um, ZC and psyllid yellow symptomatic plants, um, the chemical programs had significantly less than the UTC uh, except for program 5, which actually stopped applications early. Uh, we also found uh, that uh, um, the, uh, the yields were very uh, uh, variable. Uh, the UTC uh, averaged 296 bags an acre, uh, where the uh, program that uh, had the Agrimec and Movento every week averaged 375, which was the uh, more bags um, than any of the other chemical programs. So there was some variation and some significant differences uh, in yields. Um, we also found that the UTC had a very high rate of ZC in the raw tubers as well as in uh, the um, fry tests. Um, we would like to do uh, the study again and, and sort of see uh, what goes on with the results and sort of combine data and see what we get for uh, um, between programs again.